All right, guys, today we're going to do Stranger Danger. Stand clear. Six, five, four, three, two, one. With different releases that we are not familiar with, we're gonna shoot six targets or six arrows per person, all with a different release. We're gonna mess with shot execution. Doesn't matter what release aid you have, you should be able to still execute a controlled shot. Josh, who do you predict is going to win shooting different releases? Oh, dude, flip a coin. <laughs> release numero uno. Oh, what's the name of that? Tim's familiar release. This is uh, Ultraview. Ultraview Brass Hinge. Yep. I hate it. I hate the <laughs> beep. The kink. Did you see me flinch? I'm like, ah! Okay, next up, right here, 33. So we're gonna draw index finger heavy. <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> what happened? Low. I don't like the click and then I like- All right, this I is Drew seven. at Shallow Forks. Never shot a hinge, but he's gonna send it. We love it. That's good. And then pull just like that. You're good. Damn, where are you going? <laughs> no, we're trying to film and Tim <laughs> left his bow in the shop. Mind your way. No. What was that rattle? This was the first shot, this was the hinge. There's no rings really on this. Me. Drew, Tim, and then Jake was in the dirt somewhere. We gotta find his arrow. And I would make fun of you, but I have one in, or two in the dirt as well. <laughs> Feels like uh, Sigma. Guys, this is a money release, by the way. Nice. Broke no, that was, uh, did you see what happened? Uh-uh. That was a Well, tell us, We're tell the camera what happened. I had it back and the string crept forward on me. That's like a one in a hundred that that even hit the target. Ooh, that's weird. No, that was really low. Really low, but just kind of low. Are you coming back? No. I didn't even set my tape. I'm glad I decided. That would have been great. So you're talking all that shit and you just... <laughs> Jake Webb with the Scott Sigma. This should pretty much feel like home for Jake too. Nice. Well, Tim, it looks like on this one, this was the Scott Sigma, right? Yes, sir. Dan got an eight, Jake got an eight. It looks like you maybe got an eight, pretty close. An eight. We're and I just got outside, so I got a five. Scott Sigmund, what'd you think of that release? Ah, uh, that was my least favorite. Maybe the hinge actually might have been my least favorite, and then this would have been my second least favorite. This is the evolution. This is the punch yourself in the face. Four to six. Yeah, so I'm gonna push it down. That white tail buck broadside. I want another go at that, but next. Right, right. And then if it doesn't go off, then you just push and pull, baby. All right, shot process engaged. Sucks. Now he's got to shoot like a real man, dude. Oh, how that? Little go, high. Drew? Little high. Jake Webb. 46, pick up sticks. Pull harder than you think, Jake. Jake's been practicing. Jake's been training forearms all week. down. That's clean. Yeah, no, that's clean. All right, guys, this is the back tension release. As far as scoring goes, it looks like I got a 10. Tim got an eight. Drew got an eight. And on the line to give him a five. I actually like this release. I've shot it a little bit with you, with Tim. I can see shooting it more and more and getting better with it. I don't think I shoot it that great, but I like it. Guys, a little mid-round report. How's it going so far, Jake Webb? Uh, I don't like that hinge. 
I'll Every, second everything, that. Everything else was good. Drew is his first time getting off the trigger slapping program. <laughs> we'll be right back on it. <laughs> He'll be back on it shortly. We're still gonna shoot an index too. Dan, this is, this video is pretty much catered to Dan. He's been taking with releases for many years. This is a stock wise choice. So the barrel hasn't been adjusted or the tension. Who's the original dude that said he should be able to shoot any release? I've heard you say that before. Oh, Randy Ulmer was a competitor. He's a really good hunter. If you don't know who he is, shoot up Randy Ulmer. He used to compete 3D, IBO, ASA, I believe as well. And he was known to have a gaggle of releases in his pouch. And he would just pull out whatever to train himself to be able to use whatever. And one out of the 10 would not could not go off. So it, ke it keeps you really honest. 56 to the little doe on the left. Little doe. Dan Staten, wise choice. This is his home release. Hot, felt so good. Oh, it didn't even hit foam? It hit it, it nicked it, but it went, it went off. I mean, it went through it. Oh, Drew, we're the only ones with a clean card right now, dude. Here we go, good luck. That's a 600 grain arrow, folks. <laughs> 80 degrees out from where mine is. So like the way that this fits in my hand. Stiffer, here. less stiff, the same. Uh, it feels the same, but look at totally, gotcha. totally different. So that's not home base. No, that did not feel good. Is it still a wise choice? Uh, I love this release, actually. It just needs a little <laughs> and be good to go. TC with a wise choice. I have shot this release too, by the way. Well, not Dan's release, but I had a red one. What was that? Dude, uh, that was low leg. So the little doe here, this was a stock out of the package, wise choice as if you were to buy it off of Dan's website or Jake's website, this is how it would come. Jake, what do we call that, a five? Awesome arrows, Jake's got the muscles. Drew with a 600 grain arrow is just about an eight. And then some guy down here shot the leg out and figured we need a follow up shot on that one. The friends are four, so. And Mia's looking for mine. <laughs> Oh, and we're missing one arrow here. Yeah, me is looking for mine. How would that happen with a wise choice in you? It's not set up. It's not, it's completely half-assed backwards. So that's one thing about using these handhelds, guys, is it takes a little bit of acclimating and getting to know it and setting it up the way you want it. Me grabbing Dan's wise choice or Jake's wise choice or one out of the package doesn't mean they all shoot the same. Wise guy. guy, wise choice, wise guy, keep hammering. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Didn't even, wasn't even on target. I was just going to make direct contact. I don't aim, I hadn't even started aiming yet. It's getting on target, but I like to get on my release right away. Anyone see where that arrow went? How fast can you slap it? <laughs> Why would you have something that light? That's what? This is target panic. I'm, I'm so mad right now. You but in all reality, that, that is what I hunt with. Where Boom, gone. Got my wrist more, and it would act. I said, I can tell how ready he is for the competition. Uh, how many arrows in that sheep up there? He'll never beat me, Tim. <laughs> it's about exactly oh, like mine. Trigger oh, puncher's baby. delight. Damn. Damn. That was an 11 ring, dude. I don't know. I think it's a little left of that, but maybe. Um, way tighter than you'd want it. Yeah. That way it doesn't stretch on you. Okay. Put it and then, it. I don't shoot it good, but I'll try. You gotta shoot it better than me, man. Okay. No pressure, but Tim's too, made a he's too white to wrap. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Trigger slaps for time. Well, I'm not even on it. Yes! <laughs> Dude, I thought I was on it and I was pulling, pulling, and then I actually had to put it on it, and then when I put my finger on it, it went off. Sounds about right. So we gotta tighten that for Jake. Dude. He said, yeah, let's hunt together. Tighten it up like that, tight as it'll go. Yeah, give us the how-to guide on how to slap. Fits perfect in my hand. My thumb goes there, this finger goes there like that. Nice and tight. Nice. Click. This one's for Josh. This is a three fletch. Dude, I mean, it's got to hit your arrow. Okay, let's watch. We're gonna watch him work the trigger here. Dude, you're like, your arrow. It looks kind of like my arrow, but that's my first shot. Only 30 feet in front of it, but up here is uh, the 
Wise guy, set extremely light as we found out. Obviously, you gotta adjust it to your individual size. The release is a great release, especially for index. And you guys, you, you shoot, you can shoot index controlled. You can do it without punching. And the way Jake shoots it actually is pretty good. He hooks over and then he can just pull through. Uh, Drew is a straight up trigger puncher, but look at his freaking arrow in the 11, in the center of the 11. And Drew has the same release. And so that was pretty cool to see them both. Nice shoot, nice shot. Jake, great shot as well. <coughs> Loop your arrow. A lot of penetration. Hmm. And then this was my second attempt, and it still wasn't pretty. But oh, Tim Connor down here in the dirt. He pulled the damn, touched the trigger. You breathe on it, and it goes off. Why do we do this? Because it's nice to be able to know how to work different releases, and ultimately, it should give you appreciation for still understanding your shot process and when you should be able to start your aim, start your pull. Make sure that everything's lined up mechanically, and uh, I don't know, it's just fun. If you guys like watching us make fools of ourselves on camera, we don't mind. We're just out here having fun. We love archery. We love you. Thanks for watching. Tap that sub if you're into it, and we'll catch you on the next one.